Well, August is already here, and that means students are getting ready to go back to school. And all this week, we have special back-to-school coverage for you to help you get you and your kids prepared. In West Tampa, kids will be a lot safer walking to and from school after a years-long call to action from neighbors resulted in a brand-new traffic light. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Wazella is driving Tampa Bay forward this morning with the steps that parents took to get the city's attention. So many kids are expected to be crossing here in front of McFarland Park Elementary School when the school year starts, but they've often faced speeding drivers and people who are unwilling to stop. So far, neighborhood groups have been pushing for years for the city to take action. They've been wanting a new traffic light here at McDill and Green Streets in West Tampa, and now, after years of trying, it was just installed a few weeks ago. Families spent months pushing the city of Tampa to do a speed study, which was finished a year ago. Engineers watched more than 200 vehicles during the study. The speed limit here is 35 miles per hour, but they found most drivers were going around 42. Engineers recorded the highest speed by the school at 55 miles per hour. Parent Maria Castillo says because the intersection is so close to a freeway exit, this was long overdue. You see the cars will speed under the overpass and then almost have to slam on their brakes to the crosswalk. So now they're having to stop. If you live in the city of Tampa and want a speed study done in your neighborhood, you can request one. We have that information along with how to get a street light or sidewalk fixed on abcactionnews.com. Just click on our driving Tampa Bay forward section. As a further safety push, you'll soon see a new safety mural painted right out here in the crosswalk and also all brand new painted markings. In Tampa, I'm Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.